Dawn McVay here. This next challenge is all about creating a quick and easy set of cards using a standard white card base and a set of white envelopes as well as a cute way to package them. So let's get right to the project, shall we? Okay, so to get started I've got some uh, Stamper Select cardstock. These are just plain pieces of white cardstock that I have cut and scored to be a standard um, a2 size card that's four and a fourth inches across by five and a half inches down. And I've gone ahead and run each of these card fronts through the Vagabond with uh, the cane print impression plate. Just for the sake of time, I've tried to go ahead and uh, do some die cutting and whatnot ahead of time to speed things up for you a bit. But you can uh, easily skip that step, or you could use any impression plate of your choosing. Uh, I just have a little bit of a garden sort of uh, floral theme going on on the front of the card, so I thought it would be fun to use the cane print because uh, it sort of has that lattice work pattern. So to each of these card fronts, I'm going to add a die cut strip of uh, Smoky Shadow Pattern Pack. This is the striped paper from the Pattern Pack, and I've used the wine bottle tag die. Uh, as you can see, my die has gotten quite a bit of use here because I uh, I love to use it to put little banners on cards. And what I do is I just die cut across the top of the, like if this were the top edge of the paper, I just lay it right underneath the circle. And then I die cut a little strip there and I don't even worry about uh, using that top circular portion on the die. So to each of these cards, we're going to go ahead and adhere some of this striped pattern paper and there's a little bit of a score line that shows up on the die. I don't know if you can see that on the video. I am adhering these just underneath that score line. The score line's right up at the top. I'm going to trim that top edge off but for now it serves as a handy little guide for getting that lined up straight. So adhere all four of these quickly. Okay, so now that all of these little pattern paper strips are in place, I'm just going to use some paper snips and trim that top edge off. So the next layer I've got is a uh, strip of cardstock. I've got terracotta tile, Hawaiian Shores, Raspberry Fizz, and Melon Berry. And I've used one of the half and half dies to die cut each of these strips. And before I adhere these to the card front, I've got one of the little um, sort of bracket flourish images from the half and half stamp set. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to stamp that on the end of each of these little strips using some smoky shadow ink to coordinate with that pattern paper I just adhered. Just going to tuck that right down into the point of each one of these strips. Now we can go ahead and adhere each one of these strips directly to the card front. And again I've got excess at the top that I'll trim off. I just uh, cut them long so I would have however much length I needed, but I think I'm going to situate them about like that, so that'll kind of help me know exactly where I need to put adhesive on the back side. And again I'm going to trim off the excess. And I'm going to repeat those same steps with the other three cards. Okay, so all four of the card fronts are ready. And now I just want to add my sentiment slash embellishment. So I've got uh, four little scallop circles here, again from plain white cardstock. I've used the Limitless Layers 1 and 3 4 inch scallop circle die. And I've got my uh, tagged sentiments stamp set here and this set is going to be perfect for this little 
card set because there are four different tag images. Each of them have a different little sentiment with a different number on it. And they'll make a really cute little gift set of uh, note cards. And each one will be for a different occasion. So I've got the four coordinating ink colors that match those card stocks I've put on the front of the cards already. I'm going to stamp one of these uh, each tag, one of each tag with one of each of those four inks right in the middle of that um, scalloped circle. Okay, so we've got three done. This is tag number four. So now I'm going to adhere these to the front of these cards. I sort of want to experiment just for a second with which color I want to put on which card because I'm going to sort of mix them up a little bit. I think we'll go like that. And behind each of those, I'm going to be adding another die cut. I've got some leaves here. This is one of the Turning a New Leaf dies, the largest of that set. I've die cut four of these. And my favorite thing to do with these is to tear them apart so that I have two pieces. And then I can tuck them behind whichever way works out the best. In this case, it'll be about like that. Before I uh, adhere this, though, I'm going to add just a little bit of this is vintage touch tea dye duo. This one is the chamomile around the edge of that flower, just to warm it up a smidge. So I'll add a little bit of adhesive to the front side of the bottom two leaves and that way I can tuck them behind the flower wherever I need them to go. Just sort of play with it a little bit. I think I like it a little bit like that. And then I'm going to put foam adhesive on the back to adhere the whole thing to the card. just like so. And now we'll repeat those same steps on the other three cards. Okay, so we've just adhered the last little flower and leaves in place. So our card set is totally finished and now we're going to need to package it up. So to do that, I have Use the berry basket die, and I've gone ahead and die cut four of those basket sides. Each one of these is one side of the basket. So I've die cut four of these from Aquamist cardstock. I've gone ahead and used the dotted lines on the die to create my score lines here on either side, and 
I've added a strip of adhesive that we're going to need to uh, adhere this basket together. So now I just want to fold everything along those score lines and get it ready to pop together. And once that's done, which you can see was nice and fast, I'm just going to layer these two together. I want to peel off that strip of adhesive and line it up and smush it together. And then we'll repeat with the other three sides. The other two sides, I guess it would be. So one more. We'll peel off that last bit of adhesive and push these last two sides together. Um, and then we just need to tuck the bottom, just like you would do an envelope, or not an envelope, but a cardboard box. You know, when you tuck the, tuck the corner so one side's tucked under. And there we go. There is our finished berry basket. And I've got a strip of, or just a little kind of rectangle of fabric here that I'm going to tuck into the basket. Kind of smush it around so that all four sides get a little corner of the fabric hanging down in front. And I'm going to set that aside for just a minute because I've got some white envelopes here. These are Paper Trays standard A2 sized white envelopes. And I've got the Turning a New Leaf stamp set and the small version of, this is the stamp, but it's the small size of that same die we used earlier, just to make these coordinate, make the envelopes coordinate a little bit with the cards. I've got some Simply Chartreuse ink here, and I wanna stamp one of these leaf images on the front of each envelope. I'm gonna stamp it off to the side so that it kind of points toward the area where you would address the envelope. See how cute is that together? So we'll repeat that same step on the other three envelopes. Okay, so our envelopes are finished. And I'm going to set those aside for one second because I've got one last finishing detail here. These are the Limitless Layers Circle Dies again. This time I've die cut some, oops, a scallop from the Melon Berry cardstock and then just the solid circle uh, from the white, Stamper Select white cardstock again. I'm going to reach for that tag sentiment set one more time. And this is the tag that says just a little something for you. I'm going to use this to create a little tag for the outside of the basket. And this way I have a gift tag that's perfectly coordinated with my card set. And I've got a hole punch here. I'm going to go ahead and before I put these together, punch a little hole in the back layer. That's in the scalloped layer. And I've got some chocolate baker's twine. Run a little bit through that hole. And now I can easily pop this circle layer right on top.
and we'll grab the basket again. I, think I want this to be the front. There's a little more basket showing on this side. Okay, and then I'll just trim off the uh, baker's twine. Now my tag is tied and I'm going to tuck the envelopes into the basket along with my note cards. And I think I'm going to put this one in the front just so that all of the colors that I was working with for this whole set are all visible from this angle when the recipient gets their little basket. So there you go. Super, super fun and quick and easy little basket of note cards. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you'd like to play along with this particular challenge, be sure to head over to Nicole Hetty's blog for all the details on how you can participate. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Don McVeigh for Paper Tray Inc. Mm -hmm.